Hey guys, it's Shah here at the Tech Book, and today's video we're going to be doing. Um, well, I'm going to be making a Python video on Armstrong numbers. Now, these type of numbers are quite special. I only found out about them today. Um, so I thought let's make a program on it, and we're going to keep it quite um simple. Just a three-digit uh, number only. In the future, I will make a program that does more digits, or perhaps even uh, unlimited digits. So. For now let's just keep it simple to three digits because we've literally well i'm going to teach you what armstrong number is and then we're going to try and implement it with some code so now an armstrong number is as, as i've written here an armstrong number of three digits is an integer such that the sum of the cubes of its digits is equal to the number itself so if we get each separate digit right and we cube each separate digit and we add them together that should be equal to the number that we had initially so we have 371 right now this is a three digit number so if we do three cubed plus seven cubed plus one cubed we should get 371 if it's an armstrong number and it does add up 371 you can check that on calculator if you want but it does add up um so yeah so now to make this program well we're gonna it's pretty straightforward actually first we need to take the input from the user the user so a equals integer let's take an integer input obviously can't be taking strings but to finish the program we will be using strings I'll show you how enter three digit number okay now now we need to obviously have the system that does this separately right cube it and all that now let me show you a cool trick now now what this lets us do right this new trick that I found out about at least so a string of a right and now we can split up the string into its components so we can do this and that lets us do a lot more things with the program now so if i put zero and run this now okay three two one as you can see it outputs three because that's the first digit now if i if i have uh, so if i just copy and paste this to show you guys how this works okay change this to two and change this to one now save and run this three two one as you can see it outputted in order of the digits let's make it more different five three nine so five three nine are all separate and they're all in order of the digit now this will let us actually make the program now we know that an armstrong number you have to separate each digit we have to cube them separately and then add them up so now to do this we have to be able to um, split the digits up and this will let us do it so a string of a zero now we will run into a problem right because we want to cube these digits we want to cube these digits right and we have a string value so clearly we cannot cube these digits right because uh, cubing these digits will give us an error in the console so we have to reconvert them back into strings it's quite cool isn't it I don't know. yeah so as i was saying uh, so we need to reconvert back into integers which is quite long i guess but it is how it is so this is i thought of this program myself this method of the program so yeah there might be other simpler ways maybe available online but i think this is quite a suitable method now we're just gonna i'm just gonna literally just do this sorry about that one uh, plus integer integer sh string sorry double brackets wrong okay so i'm just gonna copy and paste this one last time all right uh, two. Now this will reconvert all of these back into string integers and add them up separately. But before we do that, we need to cube them all separately. So let's just do that. Cube that and cube that. Now to check if it's working, we could just have a print function here and like this. Save and run this. Three seven one. We know it's an Armstrong number. Okay, there we go. The sum is 371, and so therefore we know it's working. Now, to check if it's actually working, we just need to make some changes now. So if I remove this print function and put in if a is equal to, to the summation of this, i.e. this entire block here, then we want to print Armstrong number. Okay, uh, let's just, let me just remove these put an else statement in here and say print not an a number that's it i'll save this and run this 
Okay, one, two, three is not an Armstrong number. Okay, it's not an Armstrong. One cubed is one, two cubed is eight, three cubed is 27, that makes 36. Therefore, it is not an Armstrong number. And that's it. As you can see, it's working. Now, let's try an Armstrong number, 371. Let's run this, 371. As you can see, it works, it says Armstrong number. So what we've really done here is we've literally split up each component using this SDRA and then pick the first character, second character and third character. And then we've reconverted it back into integers using INT, INT. And then we've cubed them and then added them up after cubing them, of course. Uh, don't forget your bod mass, brackets, indices, division, so the order of the, uh, order of the operations. And yeah, and then we just use a simple if statement. So if our va inputted value is the same as the summation of all these, then it's an Armstrong number, or else it's not. And that's really it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this new concept uh, that I found out about. It's quite cool. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like, comment, subscribe.